it's confirmed. It's actually confirmed that the story is gonna go at least till the full Hollow Ichigo vs. Ukiyaru fight. And that's a relief. We knew this game was gonna cover the Arangar arc, but I don't remember any of the deaths ever saying where exactly was it gonna end. There is a lot of content from the beginning till the end of the Arangar arc, so seeing this is enough to make a more approximate guess. Also, can we appreciate the colors of the backgrounds and how vibrant Wekamundo looks? It's weird to see Wekamundo with so many colors and more so when the only image in your head when it comes to the desert is this. But even better, this room. 1. The sun rays from the dome entering through the windows and the reflection of the same rays throughout the entire room, maintaining the green hue Wekamundo has always had. 2. The stairs, which we've seen before, but the scale and size still makes me wonder what was Aizen cooking when he created Las Noches. And last but not least, this is an angle that we didn't get to see much, so if you just close in a little bit, put some epic music. And what about all these manga references? Goodbye Hajin Days, The Lost, and of course the main focus on Okira's character. I know Bleach has a focus on its characters and the backgrounds that we see tends to not be as important sometimes, but do look at this stage. Like the amount of detail and color is so eye-catching that it prevents you to see that Ichigo just removed five compact bars at once and Okura later on removed six. Six! I'm still amazed that there is a mechanic in this game called Reawakening, which is by the way the name of this trailer. And we've seen that before with Uryu. Well, guess what? Okura has it too. And here I thought we were having like five versions of Ichigo. That could only mean that the voice we heard in Ichigo vs. Biakuya's match in the crew being side livestream uh, could possibly mean a reawakening. And following that logic, this full Holo Fight Ichigo will be a reawakening too. All that thought, in the midst of making this video, Okira's trailer was published, and a few minutes after taking that. As a good consumer, I waited till Monday, which is usually the day character trailers get released, but oh, surprise, surprise! On top of Okira's trailer, we also got Bankai Ichigo's trailer. Okira works around Reishi usage. Yes, his helper. Apparently, both of his signature moves require Reishi. One, which is pretty much a multi-usage attack that makes <laughs> frame traps? I was waiting for the website to update the character's information and there is this, which wasn't shown in the trailer, and it's a move that's pretty much the same as the setup shown in the trailer. It's actually called the same, but this one works as a follow-up for the original setup, so frame traps make more sense now. And then there's a reawakening, which in the trailer is stated as a powerful signature move, which probably drains continuously his health bar. I don't know. There is not much information in the website other than you can reawaken once fighting spirit reaches its maximum. I want to think that that's the gauge that keeps failing after awakening and that leads to the sublimation state and the spirit drive. But then he has a healing move which is called instant regeneration. And where have I heard about that? <laughs> So, a character that needs his health bar to work and at the same time has a healing move that gets dramatically increased when he enters his awakening. And this is important because Ukiura's entire gimmick works around his extreme ability to regenerate himself. Whilst Ichigo, um, he has a Getsuga Tensho projectile, uh -huh. he can charge it, uh -huh. but what is this? He gets a special gauge that reinforces attacks, doesn't gradually decrease over time, but instead decreases by using skills and perceiving attacks. But wait, his awakening helps with this specific skill usage, and once again there is one specific move that wasn't shown in the trailer, and it's Inventable on activation, but the website describes it as jumps up and slashes at the opponent. So then I ask myself, how? Is this some kind of dragon punch? Is this some type of high mix-up, but I don't remember there being any kind of high-low mix-ups before. So what is it? Why didn't they show it? How does it work? And then there is the reawakening, which apparently you need to fulfill the same requirements as Okira's, but this one activates when you die. <laughs> How cool is that? You die and then you get insta-revived as full hollow Ichigo. I think the reawakening trailer and both the old Okira and Ichigo trailers have given me more questions than answers, like is the set of Oscuras from Okira's trailer the same as his signature move? Or how does the reawakening mechanic exactly work? What happens when Ichigo revives? How does Uryu's reawakening work? How is it that this scene is better than in the anime? Or is this the box art for the game because it looks fucking great? I still have a lot of questions for this game and this type of mechanics and attacks that don't really get shown. And all they do is give me more 
and more questions as character trailers get released and as time goes on. I know all these questions will no doubt be answered as we get closer to the release of the full game, which is coming early 2025 by the way. In the meantime, I just have to distract myself with something else and relax from all the hype these trailers have given me.